close your eyes and imagine you are standing in front of a very huge, large-sized mirror. You are all alone there. Anything that could be seen in that mirror is just you, just your own reflection. Look closely at your own reflection. And now tell me, what are the three sentences or maybe the three words that comes to your mind just after looking at your own image? Don't think too much. Your first thought. Whatever is your answer, that is your self-image in your brain about yourself. That's the self-image you're holding about yourself in your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind is responsible for how you are going to act in your life. What you are going to attract in your life. So whatever image you have in your brain about yourself, that kind of result is going to come in your life. Hollywood actress Elizabeth Taylor, she was so beautiful. People loved her. People loved watching her on television and screen. But when she was interviewed, she said, hey, my nose is like a paddle. My thighs, they are like tree trunks. Imagine how terribly she was imaging herself. According to her, she was no good. She was not a beauty. And the consequence was because she was unable to accept herself. She went on marrying 10 to 11 people still. She was unable to find happiness. She was unable to find a companion because her self-image was not to accept herself. So she was unable to accept others also. There was a person named Natan Sharansky. This man, he was prisoned and he was in a cell. There, he was living in a very small cell. There was no scope of going out. And there, this man had just one thought that I have to survive in this situation also. So he started playing chess in his mind with the world champion of that time, Gary Kasparov. And every time he imagined the 64 squares all in his brain and he used to play with Gary Kasparov. And every time he imagined himself winning what a powerful self-image this person had. Imagine, this person was imagining that he was able to defeat a world champion. That's the self-image which later became a reality. He became a cabinet minister of Israel and later he got an opportunity to really play chess with Gary Kasparov and as you can imagine that he defeated Gary Kasparov just because of his self-belief, his self-image that yes, I can do it. Then there was a really famous coach, Vince Lombardi. He said whenever a person or a player is going to play the player should always have this in mind that I'm going there to win. And due to this self-image that I'm preparing a team to win, the team, whichever team he mentored, always, always won. This is the reason we should hold self-images of high level in our minds. And how you are going to do it, how to create a self-image, which you are going to river, which is going to be useful for you. 
for that you will have to affirm to yourself because all day long you and I are either imaging things or are self-talking. So when we are self-imaging and when we are self-talking, it means that always we are there and we are experiencing something either verbally or with visualization. In all those images, Always take care to think of yourself, to talk of yourself as someone adequate, as someone skilled. Even if you are not skilled, you can imagine that you have the ability to learn a skill, to hone a skill, to become really expert in that skill. Just by these two methods, you will form a new self-image of yourself. 